looked into the literature and some of the reports and YouTube videos, and they were saying uh, that they were dropping uh, one of the ingredients as aluminum. Well, I had uh, done a fair amount of uh, writing and research uh, on the effect of aerosolized uh, chemicals in the, in the nose when you breathe them. And uh, what we knew was that these particles tend to travel along the uh, olfactory nerves, which are the smell nerves in the nose, and it travels directly to the part of the brain that has to do with memory and, and uh, emotions. Uh, the, the hippocampus, the interrhinal area, and the prefrontal cortex, and that you can trace these chemicals traveling along that nerve and depositing in this area of the brain. The other thing that was known is that if you aerosolize aluminum, uh, it's one of the metals that passes very easily along this track and directly into the brain, so it bypasses the blood-brain barrier and goes directly into the brain and accumulates. Well, if you do it in animals, it produces lesions or damage in that uh, area of the brain, and the animal uh, will begin to show changes of memory and learning and emotional changes. Uh, when we look at people who have Alzheimer's disease, ironically, the highest concentration of aluminum in the brain is uh, that same entry point, uh, what's called the interrhinal cortex, uh, and the levels uh, continue to accumulate.
and that's going to produce a worsening of their pulmonary conditions. Also, the, the uh, aluminum is absorbed into the bloodstream, uh, can be deposited in the heart. People with heart failure would get worse. Uh, people with hypertension would get worse. Uh, numerous diseases could be uh, precipitated and worsened uh, by such uh, an insane policy. But it is criminal. It's a criminal act. Yeah, no doubt. No one was asked permission to do this. This was not announced publicly. This was not uh, entered into a public forum. Uh, so <clears throat> these health uh, issues could be discussed. Uh, they just secretly uh, have done it on a worldwide uh, scale of, uh, of, uh, of an enormous proportion. It's for sure all of the major energy companies find it very attractive. They're, they're investing in it. Uh, the, uh, all of the transportation companies find it attractive. The major polluters want geoengineering. It's a, it's a, if it doesn't work, that's okay, but they bought themselves time. It gives them an excuse for not doing anything for another decade or another 20 years. Problem of climate change in the first place, who geoengineered us into this problem in the first place, are now saying, trust us, we'll geoengineer you out of it again. And I just don't trust them. I just don't think that's true. I can't believe that governments who don't have the intelligence or the integrity to tell their own populations that there's a problem here with climate change, who haven't had the guts to address the issues around the Kyoto Protocol, even that, are actually going to have the integrity or the intelligence to geoengineer the planet in a safe way. It's simply ridiculous. Vandana Shiva, what are your thoughts on geoengineering? It is the idea of being able to engineer our lives on this very fragile and complex and interrelated and interconnected planet that's created the mess we are in. It's an engineering paradigm that created the fossil fuel age, that gave us climate change. And Einstein warned us and said, you can't solve problems with the same mindset that created them. Geoengineering is trying to solve the problems with the same old mindset of controlling nature. And the phrase that was used of cheating, let's cheat. You can't cheat nature. That's something people should recognize by now. Uh, there is no cheating possible. Eventually, the laws of Gaia determine the final outcome. We need that sunlight for photosynthesis. The geoengineers don't realize sunshine is not a curse on the planet. The sun is not the problem. The problem is the mess of pollution we are creating. So